I have been asked for years if I would open um, a CrossFit gym and I said no most of the time. I was like, no, I don't want to do it, like it's too hard or whatever and it just wasn't the time. The goal was just to provide a space that felt like a second home for a lot of people. We just wanted to have control over a space that could be really positive and really inviting and be, you know, hopefully the best part of a lot of people's day. CrossFit Cove, we're all about family. Um, it's very much a family oriented gym. Uh, we, we support our own and they support us as well, so. We just wanted to create a really great space, um, had all the top equipment, um, great fit out, really welcoming, have really great coaches. And you know, we set ourselves up to have this amazing, positive, inviting environment that would accommodate heaps of different people. I started CrossFit as an injured triathlete. Um, I couldn't squat um, from overtraining, basically, doing triathlons. So I had issues with all parts of my body and I turned up to do a CrossFit introduction and I couldn't squat and I was embarrassed. So I left and I came back 12 months later and so I'm gonna give this another go and I'm so glad because it's been, it's my life, you know, I love it. Something that I've tried to translate over into the CrossFit gym was that what we're doing as professional athletes should be just as accessible, like everybody should have that same, the access to the same equipment and the same kind of cool workouts, obviously all scalable of course, on the affiliate level. And so we've been really lucky, we, we made sure that we opened this place up as like an open gym kind of style all day, and we've been able to be the, the second home or the home away from home for a lot of traveling athletes. Brandon Swan is our um, like our main our programmer for CrossFit Cobra at the moment. He first came to us, and you know I always check in with him as a, as a programmer and say, you know, what do we need? How how are the classes running? How is you know the space facilitating our members? You know, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And you know he said to me like, look, he's like everything's pretty good, but you know I just love more bikes. So it was like the first thing he said. I just said, you know, I have some more bikes in the programming. They inject a certain level of intensity that you can't get out of a lot of other. Uh, pieces of equipment so there's nothing quite as uh, brutal as an assault bike workout. I've gone overseas in the past for the games like that's something that you can leave like I've left behind um, for a friend who was pregnant to go and use like I said I use that as an example a lot because I've trained a lot of pregnant women and that has been their saving grace to keep some relative amount of resistance but still that aerobic capacity so and without any strain or discomfort they can sit down and, and it's perfect. We've been lucky enough to have Assault Runners, which really no one has um, in Brisbane. Like, I don't know about Queensland, but it's something that is just not um, tapped into enough in the way of what it offers for running. And I know this personally because I am not naturally a gifted runner. It's something that I've had to work a lot harder for. And then I had access to these guys and all of a sudden I was able to position myself better and I was able to pattern better movement and then translate that over into my workouts. The, the level of care is really high. The relationship between the coaches and the, the clients extends uh, out past just the, the wad and the box itself. We, uh, we like to make sure that uh, we are improving every part of their life. So things like nutrition, sleep, um, what they're doing outside of the gym as well.